So what we're doing is we are watching these movies. We are watching them, going into them. I mean, we know that they're not going to be great, but just as neutral and just to react to the movies as they happen. Mm -hmm. Some of them we have seen. Some of them we have not. Uh, today we are watching the Garbage Pail Kids movie. I have not seen this movie. Ben saw it when he was like seven. In seven. Theaters. Yeah. And, and it was the first time I walked out of the theater going, my, that sucks. Ben yeah. is not thrilled about it. Um, so definitely watch his face because he's going to be uh, having some strong opinions. Um, I've never seen it before, so I will be having... Very we are familiar with what the Garbage Pail Kid like franchise thing kind of was, though. Back I, in the is day. It, isn't it kind of like it was a card gross thing? offensive trading cards yeah, kind yeah. of thing? Yeah, yeah, that turned into like at, like almost like the, the the ghetto version of the uh, Cabbage Patch Kid dolls. Okay, <laughs> kind of Garbage thing. Pail Cabbage Patch. I, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's the ghetto version of that essentially. That's the why ghetto. I knew about it because I was a ghetto child. <laughs> yep, here we go. Garbage Pail Kids, the movie from nineteen eighty seven. God, I keep trying to do a Casey Kasem impression for no reason. I can't even do one. Atlantic Entertainment Group presents. Ooh, I'm so excited. A Thomas <laughs> Chewing Gum production? Okay. Garbage Pail Kids. The movie! Ooh. Does this movie have special effects in it? If you want to call them that. It's so cool. We're getting closer to the Earth. Oh god, the stupid rocket ship's back. Yeah. Messy Tessie. Jesse would have been better. I'm just saying, oh god, look at that. Gross. Let's take out the garbage, please. Now I can't see anything! I can't see anything! Dude, oh god. What? What? I know nothing of the garbage pail kids, so the oh. Here's another kid that should have been Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Now run for your life! <laughs> this kid is about to be abducted. That girl needs a bra, man. Yes, she does. Like, that's why she can't catch up to him. God, that's Too all much I'm, wind resistance. That's all I'm looking at. Guys, John Stamos. Oh, wait, no. Stop it, Blythe. Juice is mine. Juice? That was O.J. Simpson's nickname, you know? Probably gonna end the same way. Jesus, this kid is f***ed. Oh, I thought he was going to punch him in the Yes, he did all that for $5, guys. Who would ever get that upset over $5? Don't answer that. I, I already know the answer in my head. I got in a fight. I lost. Losing is relative, my dear boy. No, he lost. There's no, nothing wrong with getting beat up by two 30-year-olds if you're, like, a 10-year-old. True! I mean, there's no shame in it. No, like, it really, there's a shame on them for having to beat you up. Yeah. To get five dollars. For not being mature enough to just find five dollars on the sidewalk. Bigger than full split the atom. That's when I decided to leave mankind to its folly. Retire here. 1941? 1942. When did they drop the bomb? Uh, 44. 44? Why did they wait so goddamn long? Because uh, they had to invent it. <laughs> oh, that's true. They weren't like inventing it. Like, let's just make this bomb. Oh, Pearl Harbor happened. How convenient! <laughs> He's like, that's the girl without a bra from earlier. What a bitch. You're just trying to look down your fucking shirt, woman. Oh, come on, bro. That's weird. And they're playing it off like that was a sweet moment. What's it smell like, Ben? What's it smell like? Nothing. Shame? <laughs> My hair smells like shame. It's a matter of principle. Oh, yeah. oh they're gonna... To her. She is picking up that? Well, she's like the She-Hulk. But every group has to have a She-Hulk, I'm just right? saying. What are you? What are you? What are you? Are Bad puppets. <sighs> it's Cousin Charlie. <laughs> it's Cousin Charlie. Don't hang your head in shame, Ben. Be proud that you've seen this movie before. This movie is charming. Absolutely charming. Yeah. Oh, man, totally out cool. Oh, God. Oh, it's not over. Now, listen. We both look at the time. How much longer? Oh, at least an hour. Probably more. This is actually the longest movie we're watching. Oh, really? Yeah, it's an hour and 40 minutes. Whoa! Alright. 
Cool. Yep, that's all right. Yep. Tangerine. Yeah, her name is Tangerine, and she's 40. This is all about a 12-year-old trying to kid it with a 20-year-old. Really? That's the whole point of this? Well, I guess it is an 80s movie, so I guess that's what they all were about, pretty much. Why are they all just, like, changing clothes out by this car? Dude, don't walk away. No, he doesn't understand. He's too young. Yeah. He's um, like, boobs of the girl I like? I should get away and give her a shirt to put on. I like that stool. That's kind of nice looking. There's plenty of objects that I like. It's like, that stool's not offensive at all. I like yeah, it. That's a like, good stool. stool. <laughs> yeah. You know? That is a great shot of a stool. <laughs> that is a, you know, it's not a great movie, but I like that stool. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, we got away. That's cool. Wow, look how flat they got that car. We're the Pepsi generation. <laughs> We're the Pepsi generation. What, is oh, that? what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Muttering hate words in your, under your breath there, Ben. Ben loves this movie so much he refuses to even look at it. He's looking up what the hell Tangerine's been up to. I wasn't saying if she's done any nudity things, unfortunately, no. <laughs> Why are you looking that up? Back to this very interesting movie. It's very interesting. I think they're about to become child laborers. Oh, really? Yeah, because he makes them, if I'm remembering this correctly, he makes them, like, make clothing that he can give to that girl to sell in order to... Whoa! Yeah! Dodger, be careful! Look out for juice! I'm too happy to die. That's not how death works, kid. <laughs> I'm too happy to die. That's not how death works. <laughs> Oh, they're singing now. Oh, yeah, they're about to become child laborers. And... No, it's illegal to wail in Ohio. <laughs> I think it's impossible. Exactly! <laughs> hate the message. No, because you can't do anything by working together, because if you're all incompetent and don't know what you're doing, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna get anything done. Ben is a man whore. Is a man whore. He's a man whore! He says whore better than anybody. Whore! <laughs> exactly. The alligator just touched the lady's ass. He's checking out a dude's ass. Oh, he's into feet. Oh, this alligator. Yeah, he's gonna become shoes. Me too. Let's go. What are they doing? Why are they in a movie theater? Really? You know, not to rip on this movie, but I just feel like the the sneezing physics that they portray there are just a little bit incorrect. We're about we're about oh. halfway. We're about halfway. There's 47 minutes left to go. <laughs> juice, juice, and juice. All right, now that I juice is taking a deuce. Rhyming. <laughs> oh god, his eyes weren't even straight. That was disturbing. Oh my god. More Dude, oh, I thought it was a kiss on the cheek, but that was. That was an ear nibble. Full on munching on that ear. <laughs> no, you did not come out of my vagina. Whoa! That's my heart. Oh, that's not your heart you were crossing. You dirty whore. <laughs> No, look, she really is. She barked cards. You know, for being Valerie Vomit, she doesn't vomit very much. No, she really doesn't. But I haven't finished the examination. Oh, gross! Oh! Oh, that's not okay at all. Just so everybody knows, just in case anybody's interested, um, we started watching movies today at about 1 o'clock, and it is currently 11.21 p.m. <laughs> we have not stopped. Why am I not surprised? Ouch! Ouch! Savage bitch. Bitch! Oh, they were going to the fashion show. Yeah. Oh! All right. Yeah, sorry, I'm watching this movie. <laughs> yeah. 
Ben is so happy to be watching this movie, guys. Yeah. It's worse than I remember. Really? No. <laughs> you hate it that much. Hate it more than Legend of the Titanic? A movie that offends you? That, it, it, that offends me. This hurts me. This hurts you. I'm wounded. <laughs> you really hate when that guy farts, don't you? <laughs> that guy farts, the other guy pisses, and I'm just like, I'm done. I'm waiting for vomit to vomit, because I know it happens. Really? A times. They're playing for buttons! That's so cute! I actually hear my voice starting to go. <laughs> too old! Too bald! Is this inside the state home for the ugly? Uh, too yeah, weird? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I agree with that, though. Too pale, too hairy. What else do we got? Uh, too crip- TOO CRIPPLED! OH! OH, THAT'S AWFUL! Ah, oh, you're learning you fell in love with bad didn't you? Stay out for the other The b**** is tainted. It is. Do you really want to be, like, sloppy seconds to a guy named Juice anyways? <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Oh my god, look at this fashion show. This kid! Wearing a glittery bow tie, just ran into the biker bar to beg for help, and they are all like, "Yes, let's go to the fashion show." No, no, they're going to the stage. Oh, the that's right, they're going to the going yeah. to the uglies. Oh, yeah. that's right. I just got back into the movie. I know what I'm talking about now. All right. I like how the stay home for the ugly is really a warehouse with some cages in it. They're like, we might as well put these to use. It's like, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Let's take some ugly six smugly Well, what's that constitute as an ugly person? I don't know, but that motherfucker's too bold. It, it's like, what constitutes an ugly person? I can't tell you what it is, but I know it when I see it. <laughs> oh, he's too fat! Too... What does that say? Too silly? Silly? No, no, leave the clown! Clown stays! Oh, god damn it. Oh, god, the Garbage Pail Kids made it to the fashion show. Mm-hmm. Hooray! People are freaking out. Whoa, now. I do not remember this. I <laughs> approve of these adjustments to the outfits. Why weren't they like this before? <laughs> I approve. You know, honestly, what they should have done with this guy just farting, instead of just making it smell bad, is literally blow people, like, blow the crowd out of the chairs. That would have been fun. You know that they did? They missed a total opportunity to have, like, flame blow her ass. Oh, yeah, they really did. <laughs> Dude. Oh, no, let him finish. Let him finish. Juice got what he deserved, man. Finish him. Finish him. Flawless victory. <laughs> There's not enough Mortal Kombat in Garbage Pail Kids. There really isn't. The fashion show's a big success. Was it? I, no, I thought it was a, an extreme failure. It literally broke out in a riot. They're not. Maybe we can just be friends. Maybe we can just do fun things together. Friend zone. No thanks. Oh! Boom. I don't think you're pretty anymore. Ooh! Rejected. I tell you. Yeah. Justin Bieber just dis <laughs> just discarded your ass. Don't worry, Dodger. I've been stuck in tighter places than this. Whoa! Damn it! Whoa, he just swore. He just said a swear. You've taught me, Dodger. You can't change the world by locking yourself away from it. How did he teach you that? I'm not really sure. Oh, go the hell. <laughs> We made it! We survived! Alright. So now we've reached that point. We just finished Garbage Pail Kids. The movie. Um Alright. So at the end of these things, we always we always do um just to out of <laughs> um this is gonna seem a little bit off, but in the spirit of fairness, we say three things that are good about the movie and three things that are bad about the movie. This is going to be a little bit lopsided on that scale. Um, three good things about the movie. This was the thing I had mentioned to you before. The movie was pretty well white-balanced. 
every you know all the color was you know I think as it should have been. Um, that's one. I'm you know competently made. Um, I think that they did a good job writing their signs in the state home for the ugly. There, a couple of them kind of made me laugh. Kind of, you know, got a chuckle, so that's good. Um, and there was the scene where the Garbage Pail Kids just ripped off all the ladies' clothes, and that was, that was all right. And now, that's my three good things. Let's turn it over to Ben for all of the bad things. Just, yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Where do I start? Wherever you right. like. Let's see. Flaw number one of this movie, essentially it's all about a 12-year-old trying to get laid. Flaw number two of this movie, the animatronics. Uh, Jim Henson, they are not. Flaw number three of this movie. I they were puppets. I don't, really sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't care. know. I don't care. I was just using that as a broad term, really. All right, fair enough. Muppets, animatronics, you know. I'm pretty sure they're just midgets in costumes. Uh, all right. Oof. The acting's horrid. The writing is terrible. The jokes, if you want to call them that, are foul and downright foolish, and there's no real setup to a punchline. Like, the kid just farts. One kid just farts. And that's all he does. He just farts. The whole movie. No Lindy reason. Winston, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. No reason behind it. No rhyme. Nothing. He's just a <laughs> Every once in a while. Another kid pisses his pants. Why does he piss his pants? Uh, bladder infection? Who knows? Uh, there's that whole f***ing subplot with the state home for the ugly, which is just thrown in there because you have the garbage pail kids who are just flat out. I gotta say, I like the name Stay Home for the Ugly. Yeah, yeah, sure. Boom, I gotta say one nice thing about the movie. Um. Alright. Continue. Fucking Tangerine. The little that she is. Whoa! This is a great movie, actually, if you want to teach your kids how to avoid, like, those slutty women that just use their titties and ass to, like, get guys to do whatever they want. Not that Tangerine had them, but... Yeah, right, but, you know, hey. I'm done. Are you done? No. <laughs> Are you done? Proceed. The whole movie is just... <laughs> I say, you've waited all day. And Let her rip. never fucking has any real reason behind it. It's just, I hate it. I hate the characters. There's not a single good person in this fucking movie. Like, even Dodger is just a fucking tool. What about Captain Mancini? He's okay. He's in like five scenes. Yeah, he's, but I guess he's trying to put him in a trash can. But yeah, I guess yeah. he's like, you the know what? The whole movie's about they him don't... trying to get them in the fucking trash can. But he's not the good guy. But he <laughs> changes his mind in the end, so he's fine. I think the lady announcing the fashion show wasn't too evil. <laughs> I think she was fine. No, there's, I, I will give this an eighth of a star. An eighth of a star. At least he gave it that. He tried to give another movie zero. But you know what? An eighth. That counts. That counts. An eighth of a star. Oh, so we're jumping to the stars already. Okay. So Ben gives it an eighth of a star. I will give it one star. Because I don't want to make a graphic that's partial stars. That's going to be annoying. Also, because I like the signs in the state home for the ugly. They actually were Is that funny. worth one star to you? That is worth one star really? to me. That is worth one star to me. It's like a whole 30 seconds of film is enough to give you it one star. <laughs> yes, and also knowing you're suffering and getting to watch you suffer is totally worth that one star. Because right, it, seems, it. it seems douchey if I give it less than one. I get that you're giving it less than one, and I get it, and I understand it. It's fine. So if you combine our together, it's it gets, one star, one and one-eighths of a star. <laughs> that's right. Whereas... Or I can whereas, give it two big fingers up. Two big fingers up? What four big fingers up? <laughs> God, I, you gotta it, at least agree with me this is probably the worst movie we watched today. Yes. Okay. It, yes. Good. I hate this movie. I mean, yes. I'm, try, I'm trying to vouch for it in any way I can, but... Uh, the fact that it's the longest makes I, it the worst. I liked the opening titles. Those were interesting. <laughs> It's garbage spell in space. Yeah, it was just like cards flipping around in a garbage can in space for no reason. 
but garbage in space. It's I actually would... very accurate to what it looks like in space around Earth. <laughs> yeah. If a garbage can was a rocket ship in space, that is kind of what it would look like. So, um, no, I'm just talking in general. All the space junk that's out there right yeah. now. Like, have you seen pictures from like a satellite of Earth with all those weird shit all floating around? No, I haven't. Oh, it's great. I'll send you it. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen that. Oh. There's probably a ton of it, isn't there? Oh, yes, there is. So, yeah, that's the Garbage Fell Kids movie. Go ahead and see it if you want to, yeah. you know, lose brain cells. Yeah, that's right. Um, you can find it. It's at... quicker than, like, like, huffing paint to kill yourself, like, brain cells-wise. <laughs> if you need to kill yourself quickly, watch the Garbage Pail Kids movie. So, uh, Garbage Pail Kids movie, uh, it's a movie you can find it down at your local Blockbuster. Kids, get on down to your local Blockbuster and ask your Blockbuster... Uh, employee. Employee. Garbage Pail Kids movie, please. And <laughs> if they're a good person, they'll send you on your way and say, kid, go home, read a book. If they don't care, which they might not, they'll say, here you go, kid, enjoy. They'll give you a copy of Mac and Me instead. You'll be better off with it. You really would. You really will. Well, that's it for us. Um, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't wait after that. I, I, it just, I can't not end it with a wave. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this season, make sure to tune in for our all new season coming soon. We've got another batch of bad movies you won't want to miss.